So we spent about three hours yesterday setting this thing up. Cross from you. And now I tell you. Well, one hour looking for the nuts. No, no, no two hours, 59 <laughs> minutes and 59 seconds was looking for the right bolts, whatever you want to call it. But something we learned yesterday is that you could actually remove the motor easy. Look at this. All you have to do is slide it here. Make sure you have spare room on the other side. There you go. There you go. And bring it down and just you torque this and boom. Do you have to go all the way? I don't think you have to go all the way, but let's just go all the way. There you go. That thing is not going anywhere. Now, the beautiful thing about this setup right here. And by the way, guys, this is the Bonafide SS127. And we got the new poor bezel direct drive Kaya motor here. And we set it up in a way that is just easy clips, plug and play. We should be in the water in no time. Now, you may ask yourself, how, uh, uh, wait, what am I doing here, bro? What am I, this, this was supposed to be easy. What, what, dang it, man. Don't they always have to go wrong? I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding all right so we're gonna put this right here is to bring the motor up if you're gonna hit shallow water or something you pull this cable bring the motor up now we're missing a cable oh yes 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 this one allows the motor to go in reverse actually allows the kayak to go in reverse because the motor could go in reverse anyways now look at this you lifted this batteries yesterday yep. how heavy were they julio not at all nothing at all one battery is like i don't know it's like 13 pounds. pounds or something like that we got two 60 and hours battery right here from ampel doors in series and this with this setup is gonna last you for like 25 days plus two hours uh give or take <laughs> Look, Ampel Doors, they have a really nice chart at their website that tells you all, you know, like how long the battery lasts, all the stuff. He actually performed the test himself. So I'm going to link everything down there. A code for this motor if you want to buy it at $50 off, Alias 50. And also, Alias 5 saves you 5% from this battery. Now, this may sound like an information, but I'm doing this because you guys ask for it. Like, if I don't say anything, if I don't link any products, first question I get on the video is, where's the link? So I'm telling you guys, so it's not an information, I'm just giving you information and you do whatever you want with it. So let's plug the battery, let's put the controller on and let's get it on the water. What we got here is quick connector here. Take this off, easy plug in, boom. I like to hide the cable so, so the connections don't get wet. Now, all this, this motor is controlled by this little remote control. Got the kill switch, put it in, boom, now it's working. Hey, don't, don't turn on, easy. So guys, you're using lithium battery, you gotta go to mode right here and change this to lithium. Right now it is normal battery. This right here is lithium, okay? I'm gonna get on the water first and then I'm gonna do my little video, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe two hours, maybe three days, and then maybe you'll get to test it. Let me bring this up all the way. Hold it down here. See, the motor is up. I could just drag this thing to the water now. So let's do that. Bro, it's so hot in here. I'm sweating, man. I'm sweating. Hmm, let's go. Julio's like, don't drag my kayak. Do not drag it. Oh my God, don't drag my kayak. I'm gonna have a heart attack. Don't you do it. <laughs> Don't you dare do this. Tan, 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 tan. All right, guys, let me go ahead and go to the clean area. Bro, this thing even paddles nicely. When there is no like wind or whatever, it's, it just moves. We got the amazing Bisbee battery powering this fish finder over there so we could really see how fast we're going. And let me get my kill switch right here. So basically you press here to turn this on. You see the zero, you can start adding a speed. Oh, but the motor is up guys. What a rookie, what a rookie. You're such a rookie. Oof. 
Wow, this is nice. This is nice. We're going fast. I need to see where I'm gonna cut through here so we don't hit anything. We're going through the lily pads and uh, we're hitting some grass for sure. I feel the boat being slower. All right, guys, we got the new port vessel, the red kayak motor right here on the SS-127, one of my favorite kayaks of all time. Let me tell you something, this setup right here with the motor and the fish finder on this SS-127, this is a boat, this is like a fishing boat, like a fishing dream boat. And uh, look at the motor over there. Is, is almost ready to go let me just give it let's let's do what we do here let's give it let's say 25 percent speed this is the first time that i test this motor on la kayak because i had it on the johnny bass 100 and the cash power 100 and those are not as fast they're not fast kayaks they're designed to take an engine not a little motor like this but on a real kayak, we're gonna see the true speed of this little motor that we have right here on the back. 25%, we're pushing 47 watts and we're going at 2.2 miles an hour. Look at that, 2.2 miles an hour, 2.3 actually, oh wow. Now, let's go ahead and go 50%. All right, we're about 50%, we're pushing about, let me see, 152 watts and we're going 3.5 miles an hour. What the blue? 3.5 miles an hour and we are like just a 50 percent look at this donuts look at this donut guys this is this is cool stuff right here wow 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 now 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 you may ask what what if we do 75 percent 75 percent we're pushing about 400 watts give or take 75 percent i want to see how fast we go before we go in reverse because this boat can go in reverse without motor because it has a sort of like a mechanism that stops it and holds the motor tight and goes in reverse 4.8 miles an hour i want to see if i could oh my god i thought i was gonna hit the grass and no this is a really nice turn you know what this is what we're gonna do guys this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna turn right here we're gonna go in reverse and then we're gonna hit at the maximum speed which is like 500 watts and i'm hoping i get over five miles an hour but like what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna hold it. Go in reverse. All right, that should do it. It's so difficult to drive going reverse is incredible it's, it's hard to do i don't even know where i'm going but we're going reverse anyways look at this <laughs> okay okay you know what i'm gonna hit it hard and i'm gonna tell you guys how fast this thing goes then i'm gonna have julio get on this and i want to get his opinion about this setup i want to see what he thinks all right so i'm gonna stop it right there i'm gonna hit it forward whoa 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 that was crazy okay we're going a hundred percent 95 percent and we're pushing close to 400 watts and it's 4.8 five miles an hour we hit five we hit five we hit five but it's not the first time that i noticed that this motor is good enough at 70%, 78 to 80% of the power, that's like it reaches almost a maximum speed. So why would you go 100? Maybe there's something that needs to be tuned out here, I don't know. Uh, but 80% maximum output, this thing goes to almost five miles an hour, I hit 4.9 before. And I put it to a 95%, which is the highest it goes to, and it pushes over 500 watts and it, it tops at five we saw the thing at five now what i want to do is i want to go ahead and, and go back here again and kind of like test the speed in reverse because we didn't track it we didn't track it so let me go here see if we, we go on a straight line right now we're going at 2.93 miles an hour 3.1 miles an hour 3.3 miles an hour 3.4 miles an hour in reverse whoa that's cool Alright, so when you're done, 
make sure that this thing is not locked and bring the motor up like so don't lose your paddle <laughs> what do you think holy you had it on the water you were like going like crazy like you you're still on the boat you don't even want to get off what, what's up bro what do you think dude this is the first time i, I use a, a a motor and uh, damn i'm in love with it. i want one <laughs> on the ss 127 it's an amazing experience i don't know how to explain it it yeah. just works it's smooth quiet uh, it turns in a dime I love, my experience is really good i, I love it and it's not expensive either. 750 dollars if you use my code alias 50 save you 50 dollars and also amp outdoors batteries those batteries are amazing but uh you could choose your own batteries you could go to amazon and buy some of the cheap ones ag uh, lead acid seal lead acid batteries whatever the name is you could choose your own batteries maybe you already have the battery so whatever the point is that motor 800 dollars is a great price and it gives you the freedom to adapt it to whatever situation you have and the, and the battery is super light that yeah because those yeah. are the best batteries there are bro I mean, it's worth i'm it. on doors i don't care if you say that this is an infomercial i'm just speaking the truth yeah this is not commercial i mean this is something that we're trying it out yeah. it's super light you have two batteries there you can't lift two batteries i mean you can't you, like normal batteries normal you, battery, you can't you two can't battery at the same time will be and those two batteries will last you for days like you don't have to charge this thing that often for sure uh, that's a lot of power right there like those two batteries in series is more power than the high-end torquedo model and for a lot less money <laughs>